Alexa, what's the temperature today? Fifteen degrees, sweetie. Now, most people would not be walking around outside today, this morning, in their underwear, but Mr. Gurr has got his armor on. He's got the color of my sweetheart. I got the color of the Gabino. And I got some chalk. No. Oh, yeah, that's cold. But it's going to make the gratitude shower all that much warmer. That's for sure. You know, I hate cell phones. I just hate them. Got some information on my cell phone that just kind of breaks my heart this morning. You know, I want this is license plate to be a symbol of love. When people see it, I want people to smile. I want people to feel good about the fact that, hey, Mr. Gurr is nearby and the world is a better place because of it. But one of the tools of the government, of any government, is to put fear into people. And that is just, just horrible beyond reproach. I just don't know what else to say. So I really wanted to put on my Santa Claus cap today because it's Monday and go to the YMCA and push my sled around and get stronger. But man, I just feel gut shot again today. I saw a picture of myself on a text message and my wife saw it and she said, you look so sweet. And she almost got nauseous at the context of what was going on on the internet these days with regards to her husband, Mr. Gurr. So I am going to take a little time here this morning. I got my seafoam green chalk. I got my yellow chalk. You know, I, this is going to be a private poem. Even though I'm going to put it on the internet, the only people that are going to walk by it and walk over it are the people that I really love the most, the people in my family. So I'm looking at my canvas here this morning and wondering, hmm, what's in my heart? What am I going to write about today? And a lot of people might say, well, Mr. Gurr, it's 15 degrees outside. You got no clothes on. You should probably hurry up and write your poem. Because if you take too long, well, you're going to get frostbite or worse. <sighs> well, that don't, don't worry, good people. Mr. Gurr has incredible resilience to the cold. He's been trained to do that. And more importantly, Mr. Gurr has dedicated his life to being resilient to fear. Mr. Gurr knows for a fact that the human heart can hold two things, love and fear. And there is no room for any fear in Mr. Gurr's heart. And I just wish that everybody, everybody, even those that want me to go away, could feel the way I feel for just one day. <sighs> Let's begin.